Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, we're going to attach the collar to what we have constructed of the body of the bubble. Okay, all right, now what I have done preliminarily, I have taken the neckband piece and I folded it in half and I pressed it. Then I folded it in half again and I marked the center of the neckband. But I'm gonna set that aside for just a minute. Now what I'm gonna do is I have both the center of the garment and the center of the neckband marked in blue. So I'm going to line that up and I'm gonna to begin to pin the collar into place, easing it in along the neckline. Get it up to the shoulder seam. And keep going. Now when I get to the back, I'm gonna open up the facing and I'm gonna bring it back over folding it at the little blue dot. So it's going to cover the edge of the collar. Now I will repeat this step on the other side of the collar, but I'll do that off camera. Okay, I got that pinned on both sides. Now I'm gonna start in the center again, and I'm going to pin on my neckband piece, just easing it in as it goes along. It's cut on a bias, so it will curve going around the neckline. I'm probably gonna put more pins in than what I originally had that helps to make it curve going around the neck hole opening. Now I've got a little more neck band than what I need, but let me show you what I'm gonna do when I get to the facing part. Let me keep easing this in. one pin at a time. Okay, so I'm going to overlap this by about a half an inch and clip the excess neck band off. And then go ahead and pin that into place. So when I sew the neck band, in the facing, the neck band will be on top of the facing so that when I flip it, it'll go in um, behind the facing. Now I need to repeat this process on the other side. Okay, so I have this pinned all the way around. And what I've also done is in the last video, I was sewing with blue thread when I was doing the shoulder seams. Um, so I have switched back to my white thread to sew the collar on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my presser foot and uh, my seam allowance will be, I'm gonna follow the outer fold edge of the neckband piece. taking my pins out as I come to them and doing a little forward and backward 
at the beginning, just a real gentle one, because you don't want that corner to pucker. And then I'm gonna follow the folded edge of the neckband piece with my presser foot so that I'm, and, and I do that so that when I flip it over, the neckband will be the same size going all the way along, going all the way around the neckline. Okay, this will take me a minute to get all the way around the neckline, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have that neckband sewn on all the way around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna trim my seam allowance until it's a even about a 3 16 of an inch all the way around the neckline. It's kind of hard for me to do this from this angle, but I'm just going to trim the neckband seam. So that it's even going all the way around the neckline. Okay, this will take me a minute to get all the way around. All right, I've got that trimmed evenly. Now, before I can flip this neckband and pin it to the inside, um, the batiste on the neckband seam needs to be able to flare out. So I'm going to cut some notches about every 3 eighths of an inch going around the neckband, being careful not to cut my seam. So just about every three eighths of an inch, cut a little notch. Okay, this will take me a minute to get this finished. Okay, so I've got my notches cut all the way around. So I'm going to turn my facing toward the inside. I'm gonna push the little corner with my loop turner so that I get a nice square little corner. Do that on both sides. Okay, now I'm gonna proceed to pin my facing in place. Not my facing, my neckband piece. So let me pin my neckband into place. And since we trim that seam, the notches of the neckband should not show. Just ease it into place, because we eased it into place to begin with, so it should ease going around on the inside also. Okay. 
Okay, this will take me a minute to get this pinned all the way around. Okay, so I've got that pinned in place all the way along the neckband. So I'm going to start at one end. Um, I'm going to tack the facing. Let's see, I'll have to take that pin out because it's inside. I'll have to tack the facing to the neckband at one of the ends. Just take a couple of tiny little stitches. And then using whatever is your favorite stitch for whipping something down, just about every 3 16 of an inch, maybe even a little bit less, take a little stitch to hold that neckband into place. The more stitches you do, the smoother the neckband will lie. Now I do whip stitches. If you would rather do like an invisible stitch, that's fine. And just stitch all the way around the neckline, taking the pins out as you come to them. Okay, this will take me a minute to get this sewn all the way around the edge, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got that whip stitched, uh, the neckband, to the inside of the garment, and I was very careful to not catch the collar when I was whip stitching. Okay, all right, now in the next video, um, we will, I'm not quite sure if we're going to do the back of the garment or start working on the front of the garment. I think I may, I may do the back because it it's, it's um, a little complicated um, and I think I'd rather do it when I don't have the front attached to it yet. But attaching the collar um, to the garment was what we were doing today. Thank you.